New Japan Pro Wrestling Best of the Super Junior 29, Night 11, maybe Night 12. I've got it mixed up. We'll find it out here when I get ready to upload the video. Final night of Block Shack, Block Action upon us, man. You know what it is. We're the Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Be sure you like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. The price of subscription, as we all know, is free. 99, god damn it. So let's get into these block matches, dude. So we're in Toyama, Japan. Had an attendance, I think, was it 1632? I'm not really sure. I could be wrong. But that's the number I'm seeing right here. Comment section, correct me if I'm wrong about that. But let's get into the first match. We got Master Wado taking on the defeating Doki. He got the victory about 9 minutes and 48 seconds with the Vendaval. He ends this tournament with four wins and five losses and eight points. Doki ends this tournament with three wins, six losses, equaling six points right here. Solid opener. It was pretty much a guy just bragging rights situation. Neither of these guys were in the running for the winning of the tournament. They just wanted to end the tournament on a good note. And Masuato was able to do that right here, getting the victory. And his tag team partner was up next. Match number two and best of the Super Junior Block A action right here. We had Raizuke Taguchi taking on and he took the L to Yoshinobu Kanemaru right here around 2 minutes and 13 seconds leg cross Samson clutch right here this is pretty much Kanemaru just getting the points whenever he could he had 4 wins in this tournament ended with 5 losses he had 8 points Taguchi ended with 3 wins 6 losses 6 points right here so now nah, this was this was okay this wasn't as bad as it, on paper it seemed kind of like it's going to drag but no nah, this was okay I'm glad it went under 3 minutes so that's <laughs> I'm pleased off that then match number three on this card, we have Bushi taking on and defeating L. Lindemann right here. Got the victory via MX, eight minutes and 34 seconds. It was a short, but it was a very good match right here. These guys mesh very well with their styles. Bushi getting the victory in his tournament with four wins, five losses, and eight points. L. Lindemann saying four wins, five losses, equaling eight points right here. So Bushi had kind of a hot, cold streak in this best of the Super Junior. It's kind of like L. Lindemann would put a couple wins together, then he lose one. Put a couple ones and went get together, then he loses one. That was kind of his theme in the tournament. He had a solid fucking tournament. Maybe as far as match quality, he could be the tournament MVP in a lot of people's eyes. So we'll talk about that. I, th I think he might be. He he's definitely in the run. He's in the running. So match number four, BSOJ Block A action. We had Clark Connors taking one and defeating Alex Zane. He got the victory via trophy kill. This is a huge victory for Clark Connors. He started the tournament kind of rough, man. So he lost his first couple matches. So him ending it with putting a couple streak of wins together is pretty good. And Alex Zane was kind of a guy, like I said, definitely impressed me in the tournament. I expect him probably to end with double digits. He did not right here. But it just means a lot of these guys in the block are really close. So Alex Zane takes the loss to Clark Connors right here, 7 minutes and 10 seconds. I thought it was a really good match. So, yeah, moving on down the car. Match number five, we have Willie Yuta taking on and defeating TJP right here. He got the victory via seatbelt clutch. 11 minutes and 47 seconds right here. Willie Yuta in this tournament strong. He finished with 10 points, which is actually a good rec. 5 and 4. TJP 4 and 5, 8 points right here. This match is what I thought it was going to be. These guys put on a little technical, a little, little not masterpiece, but they put a little te technical demonstration right here, and I was very proud to see this, and I enjoyed this match immensely. Moving on, up the card, match number 6 right here. We have Yo. Taking the elders, former tag team partner, show via shock arrow right here. And you already know what this match was. This was a this is a heated rivalry. Former tag team partners were Punky 3K exploding right here. Yo, show getting a victory with the shock arrow right here. And he was a guy that kind of floundered in the tournament. He was a lot of people, including mine's dark horse, to potentially win the thing. He ends with 10 points at least. But a far cry from we had, you know, pegged for show by tournaments in right here. And yo, kind of the same way. He was in the final last year and he just kind of. That's eight points, so hoping to rebound later of the year for both these guys. Match number seven right here. We have Robbie Eagles taking on Teton. Teton gets the victory right here. Ten minutes and 57, 56 seconds, excuse me. Teton pretty much eliminates Robbie Eagles right here. This He was in it to the last night, man. He could have got the victory. He would have definitely been in running for the block B final. He did beat El Fantasma, and I believe he beat El Desperado. So he, they both needed this guy to lose this match, and that's exactly what happened right here. t Tyne gets the victory, finishing the tournament on eight points, four wins, five losses. Robbie Eagles, like I said, finishing the tournament, five wins, four losses, equaling ten points. So, yeah, then another person that had to lose right here was Ace Austin. He lost this match by countout, ten minutes and 24 seconds. I like this match. He lost it to Francesco Akira. And Kira's another guy who I thought maybe would have had a higher point total ending this tournament, but we all know he, he finished at eight points, four and five. Ace Austin finished about where I thought he would, about 10 points in the running for the block, but still, you pretty much knew he was not going to win the block here. 
Then, the penultimate match right here, we had El Desperado taking on and defeating El Fantasma on 19 minutes, 37 seconds, penciling in his slot to the final. I thought this was a really good match. I think this might be these guys' first one-on-one -on -one match right here. I like this match a lot. I'm not, not going to hold you. I was kind of rooting for El Fantasma because even though I love the potential of getting a Hiromu versus El, El Desperado or a Taiji Ishimori versus El Desperado, I'm like, we've gotten that so recent. I just wanted some new, fresh mixture here in the best of the Super Junior. But El Desperado punches his ticket. Then, the main event, we got Hiromu Takahashi taking on and defeating Taji Ishimori. He got the victory in about 22 minutes and 30 seconds via referee stoppage. He hit him with the D. Hiromu Takahashi hit him with the D. So, with that being said, New Japan Pro Wrestling's finals of the best of the Super Junior Tournament is coming on. Like I said, Hiromu Takahashi won Block A. We got El Desperado winning Block B right here. The finals will be taking place on Friday. Their last match they had was a Wrestle Kingdom 16 for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title, which El Desperado won. So, got a lot to look forward to on Friday. I'm going to see if the card is up real fast, if they've added any other matches, or if it's just so far just the final. You never know. Let's see if they add any other matches. Match lineup. No, it's just the final right now. So, maybe they'll release the card before Friday. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a surprise card. So, we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned in here. We're the Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. Price subscription is free 99. I am the Pro Wrestling Fly God, Stardust Shiyaku. I am signing off until you hear me next time. Man, that word I ain't said in a while, bruh. Tranquilo.